Now, your hyper-local weather forecast. From the SaukValleyWeather.com studio, this is Sauk Valley Weather Today. Starting out with a winter weather alert this morning as a wind chill warning continues in effect until noon tomorrow. Already this morning, some dangerous wind chills close to negative 35. And we'll continue that through at least the morning hours with a little bit of improvement as we get towards this afternoon. Still, though, brutally cold with temperatures only getting just a degree or two shy of reaching zero expected for this afternoon. That'll keep wind chill values low and then we'll actually repeat that scenario again tonight as temperatures once again dip well below zero. So frostbite likely can occur in under 10 minutes. So if you do need to be outside today, especially this morning or late tonight, early tomorrow morning, dress in layers and make sure and cover as much exposed skin as you possibly can. It's going to be dangerous. And this is why, look at the temperatures. This is actual temperatures as of right now, about 8.30 this morning. We're at negative 14 degrees here in Sterling. Dixon, negative 16 degrees, negative 20 degrees in the Quad Cities. And when you pair a little bit of wind that we still have across the area, we get wind chill values that are quite impressive like this, feeling like negative 40 degrees nearly in the Quad Cities, certainly middle to upper negative 30s here in our local area in the Sauk Valley. Even more brutal off to the west, several readings close to negative 45, and also there's a negative 50 in a few spots in Iowa too. So this is brutal. This is just absolutely brutal. Arctic air, true unmodified Arctic air at that, because again, we have that fresh snowpack on the ground. So certainly very, very cold. Now what's interesting is today could actually be the coldest New Year's Day on record since those records began back in 1902. For Rockford, if they don't surpass a high of four degrees, it will be the coldest New Year's Day. And for the Quad Cities, if they don't surpass a high of five, it will also be the coldest New Year's Day ever recorded on record. So because we don't keep records here in Sterling Rock Falls and some of our other local, local cities here, we rely on these two cities to kind of see where that balancing act is in terms of our records. So today, likely to be the coldest day we've seen so far on a New Year's Day period. Very impressive. Negative one is all we're going to do today. In fact, we may not even reach that. Some of us could be stuck at that negative two, negative three because the cold air is just so impressive. Clear skies, sunny, so it looks warm outside, but it's not. It is going to be dangerously cold for sure. Now there is another cold wave getting ready to move in. We do have another cold night ahead of us as we get down to negative 12 tonight. Only five degrees for a high tomorrow. Uh, not as bad nearly as we get into Tuesday night. Still cold. And then we go down once again. This is that third round of Arctic air that moves in for Thursday. That'll keep our high temperatures at about six above, nine above by Friday. Into the upcoming weekend though, a sign we are going to get briefly warmer. And I do mean briefly because it does appear Another Arctic air mass is going to be lining itself up for the following weekend. It also could prove to be a much more active pattern, too, with a few more storm systems coming through. But nonetheless, wind chill warning continues until noon on Tuesday. Do bundle up if you do need to be outside. Also, keep those pets inside.